Hey, ya comrades! Quill18 here, and we are back with another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 with Briarstone! Greetings! And we are getting ready to go and beat up Sin Kang. For the greater glory of the common term, even though they're already communist, but shush. It's fine. <laughs> I, we want it. Can't trust we the AI to make right it. decisions. No, of course not. Mm -hmm. So that will be fabricated in the 1st of August, so we're a month away, and I'll start that war. Okay. Meanwhile, you've been making plans to update your divisions with the uh, support companies. Oh, Amelia, your heart disappears. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Um... Put those guys in over there. I'm just trying to figure out the best. Grab you. Units are affected by attrition. They are. Maximum attrition present one percent. And it costs you equipment. As far as oh. I know, people have, have told me that attrition has no effect on like manpower in Hoi Four. But equipment's pretty bad because it like takes down your um, your stockpiles, obviously. Um, and in addition to that, uh, if they're if your troops are fighting without all their stuff, then that's pretty bad. Oh wait, wait, hold on. I've got a decision to make that might be kind of crazy. Um, capitalists are a worse threat to us both. If we don't get fascist weapons to crush the proletariat, we won't give. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to give you anything. Not giving who anything? The fascists. No, no, anything. yeah. I'm anti-fascist diplomacy. Why would I, like, pick that and then go against it? No. Um, there's a lot going on, Jesus. That's so much. Um, unassigned divisions. That's you. Do, 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 do. Let me cancel a couple of these lines, actually. Do that, end up with a little excess. Almost, but not quite. Oh, there we go. Engineers. Let's do that. That's going to be fine. Yay, justification is done. Declare war, call in allies, send. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, kicking some ass. Did you get my call for arms? Call to arms? Oh, I did. Yeah. Okay. Accepting. Hooray! And make sure to hit right. play on your battle plans. Um. Right. That's. Where are Some they? of us forget that sometimes. <laughs> Is that the one? Am I? Am I? Am I clicking on the right one? Uh, oh no. You haven't started fighting yet, so. Oh, there, there we is. go. Oh, I don't have a leader, though. Let me get one. Um, there you go. Construction one is done. It is 37, so I guess we want to keep going down here. Although, if I time it right, yeah, I can get a big ahead of time bonus on this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going through my national. Uh, my focus is wrong. Volunteer forces have been fighting the Republican of Spain have returned home in Leningrad. Mm hmm In shame. No. Oh. Too bad. Could so not sad. beat the fascists. We tried. There was effort made. All right. Da da da. Keep taking territory as quickly as possible. Bop those guys. Eleven percent. You're making all these. You're making the world tremble. I am. Starting some shit. That's okay. You actually want, like... Well, everyone except basically the fascists want the world tension to go up as quickly as possible. Because as the world tension goes up, we have more options. We can do more things. Whereas the fascists can always do stuff right from the start, and they don't want, like, the communists and the um, democracies to be able to start doing things. Right. So they have... The fascists are like, no, we need to keep world tension low as long as possible until we're ready to start the actual world war. All right, looking, looking, looking. Hey, it's Yarkin. It's a city-state from Civ. Yeah. Oh, yeah? It's Isn't like how I know all my geography is just from playing video games, which just explains why it's so poor. How do I know where these planes are? 
These planes just got deployed someplace and it's not telling me. It's not letting me go straight to where they are. You know what? Let's just go. You can always just... right click on a unit in a list or whatever and it'll zoom to their destination or their location. And the war's over. That was quick. Mm hmm. Can I just eat them all in one go? Sweet. Done. There we go. I'm super helpful. I didn't even watch it. Because I'm too busy trying to do everything else. <laughs> but that's okay. Like, a, a lot really. of the warfare can actually be surprisingly hands off, so it's fine. There's justification of war goals against us or our allies. Japan is justifying against us. Yeah, sort of. Japan is justifying against main, like, the nationalist China. Um, there you go, Marco Polo Bridge instance. The thing is, I actually haven't agreed to, like, partner up with China. So, we're not actually going to be in a war against Japan right away, if I understand things correctly. Now, the interesting thing is, we could actually, I could start fabricating against China and fight alongside Japan against nationalist China. Which feels a little bit dirty. But might be a really good idea. I don't know. There we go. Let's finish the construction here. Do I have you guys doing anything specifically special? You're supposed to be on this front line here. Right, that's good. 21, 20. This guy is still 25 over the top. You know what? Jesus. I'm so bad at this. All right. Uh, National Spain took seven states. Egypt, okay. Jesus. Yeah, the Spanish Civil War is over. Now, National Spain doesn't usually join the fascists, but they can. Uh, the Axis, I should say. They are fascists, but they don't always join the Axis. Why am I not able to? Oh, because I'm already clicking on that. That's how I want to do it. There we go. But yeah, if you can plan on going into like Turkey and Iran and Iraq and all those things. I mean, you've already got lots of oil, I think, but then the like infinitude yeah. oil. Yeah, I, I like that. Also, just to, to, to gain more control over the, the, the straight things that are coming in and out of my areas. Yeah, well, that would give you access to the Mediterranean as well, which is nice. Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. Improve the Stalin line. What is that? Land forts and such in the provinces. Special forces is actually hard to get. Far East fortification. You know what? I'm doing the Far East fortification. Okay. We're doing that first because, again, Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's that. I'm researching that. It's just going to give me forts. It's so cool. These guys don't I should have... go to war against China or not. I kind of feel like I should. I don't know if I've got the, the forces, though. Oh, well, that's too far ahead. Could still rush it, but we're at fourteen percent. I almost have the ability to get myself the uh, war economy. Working on it. Who else are you going in for? Well, we got sink game now. I have no plans right now. I probably could just take Tibet. I don't know if they have anything worthwhile. They have very few factories, but you know what? I'm gonna see if I can jump on Tibet. Don't they have mountains that like leak out some sort of mud that you take, and it's really, really good for you? I don't know. I'm not the one who works like a freaking health food store selling woo to people. <laughs> Witchcraft and woo. Witchcraft. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're 15%. Hello. Let's go ahead and switch it. War economy, baby. Okay. I don't have a discount. Oh, they have a 50 discount. Supply grace out of supply. Sure. We're going to go mass assault doctrine. Makes sense. How much longer before my, um, my Marines are done? Oh, my, 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 my marines are already done. Recruit and deploy. God damn it. All right, I need to... Division designer. Right. We're going to swap this out with engineer company. And then we're going to go... Infantry battalions. No, no, no. I want... Um... Let's go back up here. It's going to be fine. How do I do specialists? What do you mean? Come... All right, so I can just... I'm using the division. Wow, everything just came up. Oh my god. All right, do you want to pause for a second? Yeah. So, yeah, Japan just declared war on China. Mm -hmm. But not not my China. Nationalist China. Okay. I have a question, though. So, I was trying to make a division. See, I want to make an engineer division or a, um, a marine division with engineer support. Mm hmm. Right? So, the thing is. When I went to make a new one, 
It's like division designer. Like I'm, I'm clicking on something completely new. I don't have the ability to put in any Marines. Like I just uh, get infantry battalions. Yeah. So, um, infantry battalions. Click on that. Um. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So Mountaineers, uh, Marines, paratroopers. They're all infantry battalions. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you researched Marines, it probably went and designed a Marine uh, division template for you. you I, would, I, would, I would check that first, because you can save a little bit of military experience. There's probably, in, in the template list, there's probably one for Marines. You might have to scroll, I don't know. Oh, there is. Edit. Well, let's take a look at it. Marine, 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 Marine. I, mean, I don't have anything added for the support. Okay. Okay. So it's just a quad so we're... Marine division. Yeah, but at least, you know, it starts you off and it saves you a little bit of experience. Okay, so there we go. I added the uh, engineer company to that. Yeah, that's very good because they really Do help. Do I need with two engineer support. companies or just the one? You can only have one. Oh, right. yeah, you can only have one of each supports in a division. All right. So now, when it goes Marines, I'm looking at this the division designer. When you, like the top row, has, I've got two Marines being done. Second row, I've got two more Marines mm -hmm. in there. What what does that signify as you go down the list? As far as I know, row the, by row. and I might be completely wrong, but I'm 99% confident about this, it doesn't matter where they are in okay. terms of, like, width versus depth. That makes no difference. Um, the, the one thing is that the, whatever's at the top, like, the first thing you choose in a row, mm -hmm. or, sorry, the first thing you choose in a column, you know, in the topmost thing, that, that limits what you can have in the other one. So, like, if you have some sort of infantry unit in the top, you can't have a tank underneath that. Oh, so okay. each column is dedicated to a set. But as far as I know, position has no impact on combat whatsoever. I always like put my my artillery behind my infantry because it like looks good, but I don't think mm -hmm. that matters. So if I'm making a division of Marines, mm -hmm. if I go down the line, if I go just the width of two and the depth of... If I just go all the way to the bottom, with uh -huh. them, does that mean that I'm going to have... When that one division is done, I'm going to have 10 units of Marines? No. That's going to be one division, which is what shows up on the map. You're going to have one okay. thing on the map. It's just much stronger. Right? So how many how many brigades or battalions or whatever the fuck that you put into a division just changes mm -hmm. the strength of the division. It'll still show up as one unit on the map. Whether you had well, one uh, brigade of, of Marines or you had... 30 brigades of marines in the division it would still show up as just one thing on the map okay now when you're designing your division if you look on the right and there's like the area that says combat stats and right at the bottom of the combat stats it says combat width mm -hmm. you generally want to build your divisions to have a combat width that's a multiple of 20 either 20 or 40 usually usually people use 20 and then some things, may, people will make a, a, a width of, of 40. The reason for that is normally when you fight, the combat width of a fight is 80. Like, And it depending on how many sides of combat, it might be more than 80, but it's always in multiples of 20. So you just like fit more dudes more efficiently if you design your divisions around a width of 20. Okay. So that's your target number. But if I'm going to be doing a, uh, I can only send 10 at a time. You can only send 10 divisions at a time. Doesn't matter how big or small the divisions are. Oh. Yeah. So right now, with the way I got things set up, it's got, it says combat width of 20, and it's got a little red triangle. What does that mean? Uh... So I got some green triangles in here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah. When you make a change to a division... Mm -hmm. It tells you what your change is having an effect. So green triangles tend to mean your division got better. Red triangles tend to mean your division got worse. Um, a combat width is going up when you add divisions, which it's not necessarily better or worse. But like as you add more divisions, or sorry, as you add like more more brigades or whatever, um, you'll see the weight go up, the supply use go up, the manpower requirements, the infantry equipment all go up with a red arrow because that tends to be worse. But at the same time, your soft attack and hard attack is going up with a green arrow because those are better. That's all it is. It's showing you the stuff that's changing. Okay. 
It seems like a combat width of eight is the best because if I leave it there, there's no triangle. Well, that's I just because that's what more... it started as. Oh, get, so it... a bigger combat width is not better or worse. The, the, ignore the color of the triangle when it comes to combat width. Okay. It's combat width is is not the clearest thing in terms of indicating there. And if you're gonna do anything, try to end up like. Maybe a width of 10 or 20 or 30. It just allows you to stack better. Okay. I'll start with a combat width of 10, because that's already going to cost me, apparently, 15. Yeah, 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 my, yeah. My that's engineers. Fine. I don't want any other support. Support artillery. And, and some of the rules that, that people sort of abide by when it comes to, like, designing divisions don't apply to marine divisions the same way. Um because of various things like it takes more transport ships and longer time to prep an invasion with heavier marine divisions and yada 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 you actually don't need at this point in the game you don't need super beefy marine divisions because nope. they're, they're not going to meet much resistance okay so i want to make 10 divisions or i'm i'm setting up 10 divisions <clears throat> and i need to set a location which is honestly i don't know mm -hmm. Right here on the coast. In this so, little so you're training 10 divisions? Yes. Make sure you don't have them set to, like, infinite. Uh, oh, it, I guess it does have it set to infinite. By default, yeah. Okay, there we go. So, so I get them all. Do it one time. Yeah, 10 divisions one, one time. One. Yes. Okay. And a location I want to set next to this port here, I guess. Wait, hold on. Did that work? Oh, in Georgia. Yes. Okay. All right, lots of attrition still happening with my people over here, though. My my armies, my take Turkey armies, the ones set uh -huh. on the the border. Yep, they're taking a lot of attrition. What that do you is, do about attrition? That is a lot of attrition. Well, they're sitting in the mountains and they're sitting in provinces with very low infrastructure. It's level three infrastructure. So right. you could you could move some of your guys back since you're not about to attack, right? Oh, wow. If I click on... Hold off on that for a second. Okay. Yeah, you're I'll not about move, to I'll attack. I'll move back to the cities, nearby cities. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can do is you could build more infrastructure in that area. But then again, if I don't hold it... Well, I'm pretty sure I can defend it. Oh, yeah. You're not going to lose anything. I, if I didn't, then they take it. But then again, I don't care. Should I be putting civilian factories or military factories in there? No, uh, by infrastructure, I mean the actual thing called infrastructure, which is railroads. Oh. Like, it looks like railroads. Uh, I see logistics, recruit and deploy, production. Okay. You build, go to the construction screen. Yeah, oh, okay. And at the top there, you got that little railroad thing on top right. Yeah, I see that now. Yeah, that's, so that's infrastructure. That that represents roads and railroads and stuff like that. Um, high infrastructure provinces allow you to move faster through them, and it also transports more goods through them as well. So, I mean, that that's something you could do. And actually, if you switch your map mode to um, supply area map mode, you can very quickly see how much infrastructure is in each province. Or actually, I guess if you're just if you click the button to build infrastructure, that tends to show you that as well. Yeah, yeah. I can see quite yeah. a bit here. So like anything like a one, two, or three infrastructure is super low. All right, so I'm I'm putting most of them up to six or seven. I don't know if that okay, makes that, sense. That that becomes that's very very high, and you want um, ideally you want some sort of like maybe a road in a sense that goes from your capital to your front that's got a higher infrastructure. You know, I'm not necessarily endorsing spending a whole bunch of resources building a ton of infrastructure, but I mean that would be a way to solve your your attrition problem. Mm hmm. I'm working on it. Um, improved equipment conversion. Concentrated industry. I'm bringing that one up. Yeah, uh, uh, factory conversion is n and equipment conversion is not really a big deal. All right, improve the Stalin line. Might as well do that one too. I mean, I have my mountain infantry just in time to start the war with Tibet, which feels appropriate. Anymore is China going to flip to me? I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe we'll do one go and then we'll stop spending political power over there. So far, China's holding off against Japan a bit, although Japan has landed in China. They haven't taken a port yet, though, which is interesting. 
And I'm actually going to interfere with Japan's ability to just flow through from Manchukuo into China. Because I've actually taken some territory there. Actually, I should build a naval base or something. Just like one of those. And maybe even a like a port factory. Dockyard. I could at least start slowly producing a handful of convoys, maybe. Mm -hmm. Just for some international trade. That might not be the worst idea ever. I don't know. We'll see. Gotta make sure I'm not putting my marines in these places. No, I'll cancel Recruit the dockyard. The but the bases may be okay. I just realized, um, I have a... Do I want to set my Mountaineers on infinite? Probably not. Let's do that for one more time. I think I got plenty of Mountaineers, damn it. Okay. I'm going to basically go all in on the Marines. For, you know, obviously just for the, the 10 divisions. And then I'm going to move in with the mm -hmm. Marines plus Engineers. And, yeah. Anschluss of Austria! Yeah, well, what's going to happen there, I wonder? I don't know. Th this is fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just roll up in there and take some territory without even fighting. My trade. Oh, I got an excess over here. I could probably cancel that then. I guess I got some extra steel from taking another chunk out of China at some point. Oh, yeah. Nice. Production. Almost at a full 15 factories producing infantry equipment. Hoorah. Hoorah. Keep training slowly because I'm going to be redesigning these infantry divisions. Because I'm at what? Combat with 14. I think I'll at least go to like 20 combat with pure infantry, which is crazy. I always like do artillery and stuff, but I have no artillery tech. I have no, no ability can I to give you anything. Can I sell you artillery? Uh, you could lend lease me artillery. It would be a thing, but it's not a big deal. Um, mm -hmm. And later I could uh, request license production for some stuff as well. Like, I could give you um, a factory and ask for, like, the ability to produce various things. But for now, I'm okay. I'm, o I'm okay right now with pure infantry. We'll figure something out later on. Okay. Mm, recruit and deploy. How close am I getting some Marines? Pretty close. Military factories. Do this, or am I going to get more discounts to things? Uh, it's probably worth picking this up for now, and then we'll figure out the rest after. Not motorized. Is that motorized infantry, or what is that? Uh, yes. It is motorized infantry. So basically, infantry moving in trucks. Now, these are non-armored trucks. Later on, you'll get mechanized infantry, which is armored trucks. Okay. Okay, improve the Stalin line. That has been done. Claims in the Baltic. Yeah! Claim that Baltic. Start some shit. Um, <laughs> Lithuania, I'm like Latvia. The little devil on your shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, is thing is, if... mm -hmm. I was just thinking, where is the um, the claim on Turkey? Where is that at? Uh, I believe it is. It's the claim the Straits, I think. If you go anti-capitalist, then expand the Red Fleet, claim the Straits gives you a claim on Istanbul and things. But you could just you could just fabricate a claim. Could do that. Yeah. Now, one of the things that will happen when world tension gets high enough is the Allies will start guaranteeing the independence of things. And if you declare war on those guys, then you will be in a war against the Allies. Right. But right now is probably the best time. Do I go anti-capitalist diplomacy then? Because that's what I... I didn't realize I had to go anti-capitalist to get into Turkey. If you wanted, um, like, the free claim thing. But you don't have to go that way. I mean, first of all, there's always possibilities. I think you can befriend Turkey as well, but... Mm, I'm not sure. No, I'm thinking of mm -hmm. the, uh, the German ideas. Well, I can either go for the claims in the Baltic, or I can go anti-capitalist diplomacy, and that's the only two things that I can really research right now besides the Great Purge, mm -hmm. and I don't want to do that. All right. I know. Whichever. Baltic's good, too. Plus, it leads you to having claims on Poland, which is going to be kind of relevant when uh, maybe Germany starts some shit, which they're about a year away from doing. All right. Good enough. I can modify the government again. Is there anything specific I should be looking for, I wonder? 
Political advisor, uh, aircraft designer, tank designer, chief of army. Well, they're all good. Um, the things in the, the top two rows, usually you might prioritize earlier. Because the things like the bottommost row, military staff, will give you buffs to actual fighting. But the things in, say, research and production gives you boost to researching and producing. So, you like, when you're not fighting yet, that might be a higher priority. But there's no, there's no one simple answer. Motorized rocket artillery research time. <laughs> I'm gonna start more of that for now. But we'll switch after that. So you've got that on the shore, which I think is good. Actually, we'll want a tiny bit more infrastructure here and here. I don't remember where's my capital again. Oh, there. There's so many options. Holy shit! Naval experience gain. I'm thinking we're gonna go naval, especially if I'm gonna be getting into you know Turkey and around the. It's different. I don't know if I should be doing that. Well, Nuclear scientist. <laughs> I mean, the Soviet Union not normally associated with a strong and influential navy, but that doesn't mean you can't go in that direction and change things. This is true. A navy could also help pretty dramatically against Japan when we want to take their actual home island. Speaking of which, should I be moving some of my? Because I didn't take my. Uh, I didn't take Finland. In that way. Yeah. Huh? I could move my uh, fleet that's... I got 12 ships. Two fleets. can move them to a, a base around nearby where you are. That's true. I don't foresee them being necessary there. How long will it take me? Take me forever, won't it? Uh, it'll take some time, but it's not that bad. These are not like, you know, medieval ships. Research finished. Interwar artillery. Good. Ooh, artillery. I wonder what that's like. Apparently I can't uh, move them, though. Why can't I move those units? That's weird. I, would, I wouldn't think there'd be anyone blocking you from being able to get there. I just wanted to come around to, you know, where Korea would be and get into my own coast. Um, well, here's, okay. Select your fleet, then if you control right-click on one of your naval bases... That will assign it a new home base. You might be able to do that and then move them to that base. Like, don't assign them to a mission yet or whatever. I don't know. Oh, I, I not... had to control click and then do it. Okay, now they're moving. Yeah, I think they were too far away from their home base to be able to run a mission out there. Right. And that's what it was telling me. That's what it thought I was trying to do. Which I wasn't. Yeah, so China's going to be eaten by Japan. I don't know how bad that is for me. I wonder if I should have jumped in on the China. Japanese-Chinese war. Well, it's too late for that now. Or is it? Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Everything's fine. Don't listen to me. Claims in the Baltic. Baltic security. Claim all the things. World tension is increased by one. Do it. And when I actually go into this war, I don't... Jesus, I have no idea. Hold on, I've got... Are these guys over here? Oh, they are definitely over here. How do I separate? You said separate, hold divisions. Separate your... I got 10 of Marines. Uh-huh. So they're uh -huh. done. Right. So I need to get them out of this current army that I have them in. Okay. Well, if you just select those individual dudes, like select the army, then in the window that pops up, select like the the marines and then just create a new army oh, okay there we go all right take turkey so this is my marine group uh new theater you know what we're gonna call it uh sea turkey <laughs> there we go now i know it's these are my marines now I can send 10 at a time over, but I need to make a claim first. Jesus, justify war goal. I could conquer, right? Just say conquer? Uh-huh. And if I conquer, what's the easiest to conquer? It will not be Istanbul, I'm sure. Um, yeah. So, I mean, for this, you can just, like, click whatever button. Oh, shit, like, what happened? Oh, I just beat up Tibet. Oh, okay.
Okay. Ain't no, no, ain't no big. Ain't no big. Yeah, just beat up Tibet. Uh, right, by the way, just... I'm gonna manufacture some war goals on China as well. If I was to take. So the it doesn't. It thing. doesn't matter which one you claim. Here, really, pick no, something right just... on the border because it, when peace deal comes, you can you can just take everything at peace. This is just your initial thing. Technically, it has a tiny effect when you're like negotiating a, a peace deal with like many parties involved on all sides. It's almost not a non-issue though. Okay, so I can just say it's it's a five percent justification. It's or it increases world tension by five percent. Yeah. So I'm just gonna say tribes on nothing else. Just just yeah, tribes on send that, and that's that's enough for a war. We're good to go. Soviet Union is oh. justifying against Turkey. Exciting times. Yeah. Right. So what, how who, mountainous who? is this? Hills, plains, forests. Okay, hmm. it's not... Eh, hilly over here. Just, I'm actually debating just making all my troops mountain divisions. Because where am I going to be fighting? I'm going to be fighting, you know... If we ever fight the allies, it's all going to be, like, freaking mountains. Um, mm -hmm. If we fight the Axis, like, if I help out in Turkey, it's all going to be mountain shit. And then if we fight the Axis and I don't know, if, like, Romania or Yugoslavia become Axis, I could fight in there with all my mountain troops all the time. And it's, the mountain troops are not any worse on flat terrain. They're slightly no. more expensive, so they're not always worth it. I don't know. I have infinite manpower, and I have a shortage of equipment. Let's not bother. <laughs> oh, I do have a lot of equipment right now, so I should definitely grow my divisions, I think. Oh, man. This is insane. Let's just add some mountaineers to this. How about with 20? I like it. I still have no support divisions unlocked. Hooray! What does it say? No divisions in basic training. Um... That's okay, technically. Well, yeah. yeah. It's I okay mean, if quick. you don't have the equipment and or you don't have the manpower, it's fine to not be training something. But if you've got equipment and manpower, then you probably do want to be training stuff. You're going to have very big fronts to manage, so you're going to want Get a event. lot of Joseph Stalin angered by Turkish posturing. Yeah. These are, these are events related to, uh, to war justification, right? You're making up bullshit. Like, yeah. they're coming uh, straight for us! <laughs> I have a question. I'm going to pause for a second, though. So I've got my Marines selected. I've got them called the Sea Turkey. Now, I don't know. It says... Wait, that's not what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking for... Oh, no, I guess they have their plans. Do they? I have no idea. Um, Because that's part of that group. That's part of that group. Okay, so they're right there on the, on the port here in Georgia. So if I was to send... If I was to go to war, they would immediately set sail. I see a little line that says, Oh, no division, zero transports. I don't have any transports. I have to make transports? Uh, no, transports are convoys. If it says no divisions, it's because you don't actually have divisions assigned to it. Um, which can happen sometimes in weird ways with your stuff. Make sure you've got your, your marine army selected. Mm -hmm. Now, control click on the arrow of your naval invasion. It should then assign all ten divisions to that plan. Um, I can toggle battle plans for allies. Then I can see your shit. Control click. Control click on the the naval arrow. Hmm. Okay, if I press control. Oh, there you oh, go. There it is. Yeah, ten divisions. And what's going to happen now with your army, if your your naval army on like the <laughs> arrow for their plan, if you mouse over it, it'll say something like zero of blank transports. It'll take zero of blank whatever days to plan this. Transports will automatically be assigned to the plan, etc., etc. Oh, shit. I just realized that I've got my last group still assigned to this. So what happened is it is it added the 10 units of Marines to my other army, which is uh, annoying. Oh, so you had your other army actually plan the naval invasion. Yeah, so how do I disable that? Well, with an army selected, there's a trash can icon for delete order you can also just shift you can also right click that button sorry right click the button to delete all orders on that army and that might be the best thing take that army right click it delete all orders get it all cleaned up split out your marines again 
Okay. Yeah. And I mean, that did purge their plan for attacking Turkey, but it might be better to just like clean it up and redo it. We uh, we have to put a cut in here, so you can okay. take that opportunity to clean things up in between eps. And All right. We will be back with some more Hoi 4 as we plan our invasion of Turkey and apparently China, because I'm like, I'm sure this won't backfire on me. <laughs> no, no. It'll be completely fine. It will be. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Later.